What's up, YouTube? That's here. I'm back playing more VGC 2022 Series 12 content. We're showing a rental code from our Moderino extraordinaire, Josh Diamond, more than five. He entered this team in two regional championships, Milwaukee and Indianapolis. He got good results in both against some really, really high level players. And uh, I've just been asking him for this rental for a while because. For those guys that don't know, I've been playing a ton of hyper-aggressive teams on stream all week. Bunch of Kali Shadow, bunch of Regilecki, Whimsicaw, all that good stuff, hitting hard, hitting fast, and just working on going back to what I would say my play style is. And after, um, you know, going through the grinder and having to relearn how to be super aggressive, I wanted to see if I could take that super aggressive mentality and apply it to a team that is generally more reactive. Things like Vested Ogre, a little bit harder trick room, three trick room setters being Cali Ice, Gothitelle, and Porygon, and see if I can just be a bully, even with a more reactive team. So hopefully that works out for me today. I've never played any games with this team, and uh, you know, before we get into the games, I will say if you guys want me to feature more rental codes from our community as a part of like Patreon or Discord, let me know. Uh, I don't mind making these videos where I show off uh, a couple random rental codes a week. I know people like Aaron Zhang and uh, James Beck make a lot of rental code videos, and uh, I wouldn't mind throwing my hat in there too. So if you guys want me to share more rentals that I think are cool, let me know in the comments. And also while you're down there, let me know a Pokemon you want me to feature in the next video. You could literally say any Pokemon. The Pokemon with the most amount of comments or the most like upvotes or likes, I'll do my absolute best to make a team for that Pokemon. We've been doing this um, on Twitch a lot, where at the end of a stream, I'll send everyone to a new to my newest video and I'll say, just leave a comment with whatever Pokemon you want me to build around and I'll build it for the next stream. And I think it's a really cool thing for this video as well. So let me know what Pokemon you want to see me feature. Let me know if you want to see my rental codes. And other than that, we're going to hop right into these games. Wish me luck. Here we go. All right, so our first game is going up against Standard Rinya Sun. I wonder how this team matches up against that. Like, you can go Lecky, but then Groudon can be an issue. Maybe like a mixture of like Lecky Goth? No, I don't really like that. Kyogre's probably best to save in the back. Urshi's good for popping Gastro. There's also Calyrex Sea Bomb. We should probably just Trick Room. What's the safest way to get Trick Room up? Probably P2, realistically. So we need probably Lecky then. So like Lecky P2 would safely get that up. I guess Goth could also potentially get it up. Let me actually just check the Goth set here. This is what happens when you use the rentals. Like, you don't know the sets. So, we do have the fake out with Trick Room. All right, I'm going to try the Goth. I wish this was Sash Goth. Just my personal opinion. We go, like, Max Guard there and Goth. I don't hate that. I was just Dynamax it and switch in. Ooh, I like this, actually. So, we could do, like, a really cool mixture of, like, Cali Goth. If they lead not Zacian, maybe like they lead Groudon, we switch out Goth for Kyogre, turn off the Sun, which means even if they lead Zarb, we're fine. We just Dynamax turn one and just pop them in the mouth. I like that. I actually really like that play. So we might not even get Trick Room up this game. And that might be a good thing. This team has a bunch of cool different like lead options. I think Goth Tolls are really, really fun and interesting Pokemon to use right now. And uh, let's see if we can actually get wins with this. So Grim Zard. All right, so you can't switch in the Groudon, but yeah, I still think this is kind of what I wanted to see because we're not using Policy Cali, but like, uh, yeah, let's think about this. I mean, we could fake out. Hmm. I wonder if we would just Oko the Zard. What if I like switched in Ogre? I think Ogre switching is probably the right play. Ooh, I wonder if we even get killed by a Wildfire. Like, what if we just want Helping Hand? Like, just a big Helping Hand into that slot. Like, Helping Hand, Hailstorm, the Zard. I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch. No, they can't. Sw they can't switch the Grim up or Groudon. I think this is fine. Yes, they're probably clicking Reflect, but like, oh man, if they're not, Big Sad. So let's see, Big Max Zard. I don't think that the Max Zard Wildfire just does enough to the Cali. Also, like, realistically, they should be afraid of proccing a policy here. 
Like, they should be afraid. I could switch an ogre, you do like 25% tops to a max Cali, and I'd one-shot your Zard, and then I'd be fine. I wonder if they're just going to double into that slot with, like... They might be fake-outing with Grim. They might be taunting with Grim. They might be foul-playing with Grim. There's so many different things that could happen here. But I bet they didn't expect the max Cali. And I still like this because they do have the Zard here. Yes, I'm sure there's a Groudon back there, but we have the Lekki to pin if you get the KO on Goth this turn, too. So I, I still feel like we're in a pretty good spot. Big helping hand. And let's see what the Grim's up to. Reflect? Taunt. See? I like that. I think that we made the right play in going for it like this. I think you're probably hitting the Goth then, right? I, I like what they're doing here. I think what they're doing is the right play in the situation. Um, they wanted to do damage to the goth. They wanted to taunt to stop Trick Room. Like, I like, the, I like these plays. Big damage. Mmm. Helping hand. Coming in hot. Now, you could send out your grout on here, but then I just switch in the ogre and just do the exact same thing. That's your max down. Yes, you did get the wildfire up, but like, whew, that's a lot of damage. Um, I guess we can't protect. We can't max guard. But realistically, I think that's fine. I don't think I can max guard. Would I even want to is a good question. I don't know if I would. Hmm. Would they taunt my goth here? Because, like, I could just try and trick room. And heart switch in Ogre and then just Opulse for the rest of the game. They can't switch in the Groudon. They can put up a screen. That's about it. But then I still have Cali in the back. Yeah, I'm going to try that. I don't think they'd go for the taunt. We'd probably live the Spirit Break realistically. Yeah, I think that's okay. We don't really need our max. We also don't technically even need um, Trick Room this game. I don't think, because we do have Lecky. So if you even if you happen to KO, um, we're just activating the rain for Lecky to come in and use Thunder. If it has Thunder. I don't know if it has Thunder. It should. Please have Thunder, Lecky. You're, you're on a rain team. <laughs> so here's the Drizzle. Yeah, the Wildfire's ticking, but I don't think it's that big a deal. I, I think it'd be crazy if you had the Goth this turn. Thunder Wave. Okay. Hmm. Are you, are you not hitting that slot? What a mad lad if you're not. Holy moly. You have to go for the behemoth blade in that thing. Right? Am I wrong? Okay, good. Good play. Okay, I was going to be like, bro, you cannot think that you can't hit that Cali. All right. And yeah, the, like I said, the wildfire is ticking, but it should be fine. Hmm. Opulse is my only out here. But then, realistically, we just come in with Cali and rinse and repeat up after. Huh, do I even want to switch? Like, do I, what do I want to do here? I think you just go Helping Hand. Helping Hand Opulse is good. Can't switch in Groudon? The power of Gothitelle. Shadow Tag is strong. They're like, oh, I wish you could switch in my Groudon and, or my Gastrodon. Oh, what if they have Gastrodon in the back? Sounds like a job for Seed Bomb. I, I wouldn't even bring Gastro to this matchup if you weren't going to leave with it, realistically. Just because you can't switch it in to stop the Ogre. Hopefully I don't get fully parried. But I think we're okay here. We've seen Thunder Wave, Taunt, Grim. Thunder Wave, Taunt. Big helping hand. Come on, Kyogre. Come on, Ogre. Survey says protect Zacian. Okay. Can I just pop that Grim in the mouth, please? Foul play into Gothitelle. Picking up the KO. That's absolutely fine. As long as I trade with the Grim this turn, I think we're still going to be good. Opals. Helping hand. Let's go. Opulse strong. Oh, that sucks. It's still technically fine, but like, oof, that hurts. Because this will give us like a plus one, but now that you can switch into Gastro, but Gastro doesn't want to switch in on a Glacial Lance. But still, um, I still wish I got the KO, because like, I'd love it if you just had to send out like a Groudon right now. That'd be great. All right, we still have our white herb, but they're probably just going to go for, like, a fadeaway. Like, realistically, they're just going to go for, like, a fadeaway move into the slot. Like a Thunder Wave, right? Do I just want a high horsepower that's Zacian? I think you do. And we have to hit our... We have to hit the Opulse. Let me think about this. Because right now, Ogre's slower. It would go first. 
Yeah, you have to go for the high horsepower. But means we have to hit the opals. Like, water spout won't do it. And you can switch right now. Yeah, you gotta go for the opals. Um, also, they could switch out uh, for Groudon this turn, so you have to do it just like this. They're going for the fadeaway Thunder Wave, just like we said. So this actually makes the Kali now slower than the Kyogre. No full paras? Awesome. Damages. All right, come on, Opulse. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Yes, please. Yes. Yes. That feels great. Absolutely amazing. So Zashian down. Running out of turns on Trick Room, which means realistically, uh, it's probably a good thing because we can just send out Lecky once the Trick Room's over next turn. And uh, yeah, I think that's going to be okay. We send out Lecky, pop a Protect for like one turn, and then we're good to go. What is it, though? Groudon. The boy! All right, as long as we get no Paras, we're good. Do I ever want to... Do I switch out Ogre here? I think I might. I think that might be the play. Now let's think about this. Like, two turns on TR. As long as I don't get fully parried, I, I just win. We just go Ice Beam. It's probably Vested, too. So we just have to click Glacial, not get parried. And click Ice Beam, please no para. And then we win. Hopefully we win. Come on. Come on, game. Come on, game. Give me the one time. No! Kelly, no! No, it's a double para! They did, oh my god. And then I'm gonna eat a pee point to the face. Bro! Oh my gosh. Not like this. Not like this. Please, no. Please don't do this to me, game. Alright, we're gonna have to hyper beam that guy. If we're gonna have to go for the protect here. We got one more shot. Oh my gosh, that was such a bad turn for me. Wow. Wow. Come on. Once, twice, three times away. Imagine if Groudon had um Grimnay. <laughs> oh my gosh, that turn was so dirty. Double full para. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, yeah, I was just feeling the Glacier went sitting that turn. I think this gets the KO, or at the very least puts it within a range for a Hyper Beam. Oh, yeah. I will take it. Man, Gossetel was chef's kiss on point this game. And we do absolutely love to see that. More Groudon on Grim. Don't they know the power of Gothitel? Yeah, I think Gothitel Cowley's just nice into this. The, the problem is the Ho-Oh, but we can always just max guard TR, not lose the Goth, and then I think a Helping Hand Lance would Oko a non-max Ho-Oh. The issue is the Grim. I don't even know if they want Grim in this situation. I think we go Goth, uh, Goth Cali, though. And then you bring the Ogre in the back to get the cleanup. Um, the Lecky was cool, but we, we only really brought the Lecky to deal with the Zashi in last game. I want to see if this Lecky has Thunder or Rising Voltage. All right, that's Rising Voltage, so that means it's only good in a max. So I don't know if I want the Lecky. I might want the Urshi. There's a Pult there, too. Sash Urshi is pretty dope here. I could weed this, realistically. They can't trick me. I'm solid. Like, this is fine. We're in the Urshi. We're gonna go one punch. This is um Urshi G-Max, and I actually think G-Max Urshi is a Pokemon that's super slept on. Um... It's not just because it's a good Cali, like it has a good Cali matchup, but I'm talking about specifically G Max Urshifu. Really, really good for putting pressure on teams that try and use like max guards to wait out your trick room turns. The fact that it just crushes through like a max guard is so underrated, and I really, really like it in this format. So there's the there's the crowd on. Huh. I mean, it sounds like a job for Glacial Lance. Like, are, are you gonna trick room me, bro? No way. I think we just helping hand Lance. I don't think we want a Trick Room here. Ooh, they're gonna trace Shadow Tag if they're Trace. Sick. Yo, that's nice, by the way. That's actually kind of sick. Not that I was gonna switch, but like, kind of Pog Champ. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for the Helping Hand. Like, what are you gonna do? Foul Play? That's like your only out. Um, I could just pop your Groudon right now. I could fake out your P2 and actually that's a better play. That is better. It stops the ally switch. So we're going to fake out the P2, and I think this just Oko's Groudon. Even if you max, you might still go down. Okay, they're not even maxing. Cool beads. 
Does Groudon get Wisp? <laughs> I'm like, I'm like theory crafting like potential never lucky situations. It's probably like, I mean, so sub would be bad. Protect policy would be bad. It could also be an Iron Ball Groudon, and they could be trying to TR. You'll see. Fake out. So let's see if the P2 flinches right now. Heat Crash. Okay, Heat Crash was a, oh, one thing I was going to talk about. Heat Crash is a weight-based move. It does not work on Dynamax Pokemon. That's why we use Fire Punch Groudon. Otherwise, you just lose the Groudon. Awesome. And if we probably didn't need to fake out the P2, but taking out the Groudon is like kind of big. And it gives us that big plus one. Big Chilling Nay all the way. And we see Porygon get buffeted by the hail. It looks like... Oh, he didn't try in Trick Room. Cool. That means he tried to actually do something different. I shouldn't say he. Porygon is genderless. So, there's the ho- Oh, the question really is, like, what do we think- Like, I could prop- The, the right play is probably, like... Let me think about this. It's probably Trick Room here and just Max Guard. Yes, they haven't maxed yet, but I feel like if I get burned here, I'm in, in for a bad time. And I feel if I just lose Goth, I don't think that's nearly as bad. Because then I could just bring out Urshi and be a huge bully if I don't get Trick Room. Or I could bring out Ogre and be a huge bully. Yeah, I like this play. And if you... Oh, if you're maxing the hoe, I don't have to worry about getting burned. But I, I also really like the fact that we're playing a little bit more passive like this. Because if you're going for like a max flare and you happen to KO my Goth this turn, I can just bring out the Ogre. And if you don't KO my Goth, well, it's Trick Room time. Unless you're Trick Room my Trick with Porygon. I think you're doubling into the Cali with like a foul play. There's the max flare. And is it Trick Room, Trick Room? It is foul play. Awesome. It's almost like a play of the game. Professional Pokemon player, that's plus one. Making plays for days at your service once again. So let's think about what we need to do here. There's two things we can do. We can actually click Trick Room with Goth here. And if they're going for like a Protect Ho-Oh Trick Room or Trick Room, this will punish it. Um, we can also just... Dumpster that Porygon 2 and one with Ogre in the back, which I think is probably a better play. So that means, like, realistically, we would just, we would just go Helping Hand, Cali, and just go for the absolutely massive Hailstorm into that P2. I like this play a little bit better. P2 is not going to protect. Or, they're not protecting. So th this means I could have went for the uh, attack into the Ho-Oh if I wanted, but I still think this is a good play. We're wasting Ho-Oh's max turns. It's not like Ho-Oh can just one-shot our Cali. And the fact that we're oak hoeing P2s is pretty good, I think. We still have our Urshi in the back, and if you're setting a Mox Explorer, that takes away the hail, so Urshi with Sash can come out and be a huge bully. There's the Flare. Into... Into Cali. I don't think we're gone, though. Like, that's fine. Yeah, that doesn't really matter at all. I think we're golden. And so it's up to your last Pokemon. Hmm, what's it gonna be? I don't think you'd save Grim this late. It's probably Gastro. So I'm just going to C-bomb the heck, the heck out of that gastro. Oh man, C-bomb. <laughs> a ticket to a better night's sleep. I think I'm actually going to hard switch in my Kyogre so I don't, oh wait, I don't have to C-bomb, I'm Cali. I can, <laughs> I can literally just click helping hand Lance and I'm just going to pop off super hard. <laughs> You're probably protecting the gastro then and just attacking my Cali, and I think that's fine because then we just bring out Urshi and just do the same type of thing. Let me just check and see how many turns left on TR. Three. All right, so we can't realistically use um, Urshi until after that's gone. Yeah, I think the Helping Hand Glacial is just too much damage. How's it go? Can we one-shot a Dynamax ho -Oh? Survey says... Oh, no Protect Gastro? Bro, you better get something special off this Gastro. Nothing. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> anything like i haven't even showed you guys the cool stuff the team can do i've literally just let goth cali in like every matchup and our opponents are just like folded over so we'd be taking those wins and let's go into one more Lay -la -boom. with dragonite all right so that sounds like a drop for cali it's it's always hard though um when you want to go cali teams uh, just when they have zashian i think it can be really hard to deal with zashian sometimes so we have to go goth then um i think goth cali is good uh dealing with zashian the problem is grim i think i'll try it 
Um, I love the Goth Cali because like if there's any fire types that threaten us, like a big Cinderace, all we gotta do is switch in Kyogre and we're good to go. The question is who do we want in the back? I want to use G-Max Urshi so bad, but I know we have to max Cali in like all these matchups. But I want the G-Max one blow so bad. I'm bringing the Urshi. I'm bringing it. I'm bringing the big Urshi. I want to G-Max it. I want to hit someone. I want to one punch someone into oblivion. I also think it's just a pretty good mod to like secure KOs with. Uh, it's great at like sucker punching out Dragonites. It's good at, you know, Wicked Bloat does tons of damage. Things like Rillaboom, Cinderace, stuff like that. So let's go. Kyogre and Rillaboom. Um, I wonder if this goth is full speed. I do not know if Diamond uses a full speed goth. But goth can be built faster than things like uh, Rillaboom. Hmm. Do I even need Trick Room here? It's a good question, right? They're setting the terrain too, so that means like if I can get a Trick Room, C Bomb will one shot that Kyogre. Oh, that'd be savage. That'd be so sick. Like oh G Max, obviously, obviously like a Max Overgrowth. I'm gonna see if we have a fast um, Goth. I don't think so. I don't think they like to run as much speed as me. Yeah, I like to use the big speedy boys Goth. I think, though, that we probably don't get killed by a spout. And realistically, like, I would fake out the Cali. Um, so I'm going to go with Trick Room here. And I'm just going to max the... I'm going to max Hailstorm the Rilla. Yeah, I don't think a bad play for them is to, like, fake out the Cali. And realistically, like, you could have gotten away with, like, maxing your Ogre here, too. It's not like I have that many switch-ins. They're probably just going for a spout. And they don't do nearly enough damage to things like uh, like the Kali with just a spout. It's not going to do as much as they probably think it is. Big Kali energy. Yeah, getting the Rillaboom off the board is going to also unlock our own Kyogre. There's the fake out in the Kali. We baited that a couple times now. And the spout, don't kill the Goth. And that's the game. <laughs> that's literally the game right there. Like, that's it. Send this guy back in a body bag. Like, oh my goodness. This team is so good. You know, I haven't been really enjoying that many Trick Room teams recently. I've been using a lot more aggressive tendencies with, like, you know, Whimsicott, Regilecki, Shadow Rider, stuff like that. And I feel that playing with those sort of teams that suit my play style and then going to a team that's a lot more reactive like this one, I'm such a bully. Like, I'm playing the exact same way with a super reactive team, and I'm, I'm not getting punished, right? I'm just not getting punished. They could have totally doubled into the Goth uh, and ignored the Cali because, like, what's it going to do, Trick Room? Like... Yes and no, but I don't know. I still feel like this shouldn't be going as well as it should, or as well as it is. Yeah, also, I haven't won yet, realistically. They still have max, but like, they're really not expecting the uh, the Cali to go for the max overgrowth. They're not going to expect that. What are they going to send out, like, an Intimidator? I don't think they have any. Even if they did have a White Herb, I guess it wouldn't really work, because White Herb... A thing about White Herb is it doesn't actually... That's the worst case scenario right there is the Grim, because, like, they go for, like, Thunder Waves and weird stuff like that. But yeah, with um, Wider, if you have like a plus one um, and like I were to come out and get intimidated, it actually only works when your stats get dropped below neutral. So it wouldn't actually activate. But I'm still going to do this. I think this is hilarious. Just in case they max. Yeah, I think this is fine. I also just really want to do this. So... <laughs> There's a good shot that they like, are they really just going all in on Thunder Wave? I think even if you reflect and max, you still might go down. This is terrain boosted, helping hand, super effective. They're not maxing, just Thunder Wave, taunt. All right, cool, that's great. Like, peace, ogre. I'm about to be, that's a plus two now. This is the most KO'd ogre I've ever seen in my life. This guy's like, what? No way, they have a grass attack on Calyrex? It's like, bro, Calyrex? Base Calyrex is a grass type. It makes sense that it would have this one. We're a plus two now. And uh, let's think about what we want to get done here. I think you have to go after the Grim realistically, but we'll see. They do still have their max. I don't think they're gonna max their Grim. We'll see, it's probably Zacian, right? If it's Zacian, I would definitely go for the Quake. Um, just to make sure it goes down. I go... Uh, do I want to switch out Quake? 
That's a good question. I think I might just stay in and Psychic Quake. I think Psychic Quake and keep the Hail damage up. That's probably the right play. Because the Hail ticks before the Grassy Terrain. Yeah, this is Zacian. Or realistically, I'm going to go up to the Grim. Um, let me think about this. Because we have Urshi too. They're maxing that Grim this turn, and I don't want to actually deal with that. I think if I switch out my Goth for Kyogre... I don't want to take away my Rain, but, like, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Because we want to apply the Fake Out later. Yeah, I think this is the right play. Get the Grim off the board. They're sta they're, they're not scooping! <laughs> Yeah, I think the Zacian could go for all the attacks at once, but like this is letting me reapply my fake out. Um, I'm avoiding taunt. I can then helping hand. I think helping hand like spouts just as much damage, so it's fine. Show me that protect though. Sucker. The SP baby. They didn't even max. This guy wasn't even afraid of weakness policy at all. Yeet. Oh my gosh, that's so much damage. So much DPS. Oh, I'm sending Urshi out, man. It's time. I don't get to do the G-Max Urshi, but, like, what they're gonna do is, like, basically just wait out my, um... Yeah, Behemoth Blade into Kali, right? Um, unless they're Behemoth Blading the Goths, so that'd be really funny. Yeah, this is fine. And so, um, I'm gonna send the Urshi out, and I know that I'm gonna be basically breaking my Sash here, but this is fine, because they're gonna want to protect and wait out the Ogre, and we'll just Wicked Blow them out over the next two turns. The power of Trick Room is strong. Yeah, just uh, Spout Trick, Spout Wicked Blow. And then eventually we save the Goth in the back. We bring out the Goth one more time. Go for the Fake Out play. If they want to protect, they're ending up taking more um, Wicked Blow damage. And we're good to go. So, no one punch Wicked Blow, but uh, good enough. Good enough. This team's so freaking cool. I really, really enjoy it. Two turns left on TR, right? Awesome. So you can protect if you want, but like you're still taking damage. Urshifu literally big bust. It is actually better to go for like Wicked Blow or it's better to go for close combat. What am I talking about? Unseen Fist big busted. You guys know Unseen Fist only works on moves that make contact. So like if I had Rock Slide here, it wouldn't work. It wouldn't go through Protect. If they were to Protect, they're obviously not protecting. We're obviously taking those wins. Thank you so much for watching. Hope we enjoyed the team. Think about checking out the rental code and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.